update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tammy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, final couple hours of the trading week. And we got markets slipping near lows of the session. We're right now negative 18 points on the S&P coming down right near where we were about an hour and a half ago. Lows on the S&P 42.23. Right now we're trading at 42.31, negative 16 points on the session. But man, you look where we were last night, folks. You traded up to 40. 326. You're talking about almost 100 S&P points above where we're trading at right now. Volatility persisting in spades. NASDAQ 100. We're negative by more than a percent right now. You're trading at 13,437. The Dow, the only major index in the future, is in the positive right now, barely in the green by 19 points. The Dow giving up almost 500 plus points from where it was early this morning on the spike higher. The Russell negative by more than a percent right now at 1987. You got Bitcoin down $1,000 at 38,610 right now. Crude catching a bid 108.76. Quite the week for crude, historic to say the least. You got gold negative $12 on the session but gold catching a bid from where it was at 9 a.m. this morning gold trades up thirty dollars right to where you were at about 6 a.m. this morning uh, gold trading inverse there with the market on that first spike and then the recalibration and you jump over to notes and bonds flat action today after quite the pullback all week you trade down more than three full full points you got the 10-year yield Above 2%, we were sitting at 1.7% Sunday night. Quite the reversal across the board. We jump over to the VIX this afternoon. Two hours left of trading for the week, and we got the VIX under 30, 29.47. All right, let's jump around to some of the stocks with action today. DocuSign, the pain persists down 22.4 percent you take a look at a daily of the stock down from 314 bucks in september down from 314 bucks in september yeah of last year remarkable 72 dollars for docusign this morning oracle <coughs> out with their numbers as well trading higher up 3.5 percent for oracle shares uh there's your acceleration 11 a.m., 10 a.m., 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time, you really get an acceleration, and this thing is just melted up as Oracle is up at 79.42, up 3.6% today. And we jump around to some of the FANG stocks as we wrap it up. Amazon shares continuing the gain, up another $11 today to 29.49. You got Apple shares down 1.43%. Look at that pullback for Apple and Microsoft. We finish it up down about 3 tenths percent. Stay tuned, folks. We got two hours of live programming coming up. We got Dave White with the Power Trading Hour, live from 2 till 3. And your man, Basil Chapman, he's filling in live for the final hour of the trading day, live from 3 till 4. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with Dave.